Hi, this is Rishta Chopra, your math learning strategist. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, the relationship between percents and fractions or decimals. And we're also going to look at the conversions too. So notice here, uh, for percent to fraction de or decimal conversions, for example, I start with the percent 25%. Now, whenever you see the symbol of a percent, it essentially means if you want to convert it to fractions or decimal, just divide by 100. So 25 divided by 100 or 25 over 100, just like a fraction. So that is a fraction, but is this the final answer really? When a question asks you to find out a conversion between percent to fractions, it's actually asking you to convert your fraction to its lowest form. So you need to further reduce 25 over 100 uh, by dividing both the numerator as well as the denominator, the top and the bottom, by 25 in this case. So whatever number divides both the top and the bottom perfectly, you use that. So for example, here I know that 25 divided by 25 is 1, and 100 divided by 25 is 4. So that is my percent to uh, fraction conversion. So 25% is actually 1 over 4. Similarly, if I am doing 25 over 100, which means if I'm dividing 25 by 100, either using long division or by just using your calculator, you will figure out your decimal value as well. Okay. Similarly, it doesn't have to be a percent which is uh, a whole number it can be a decimal percent as well and you will follow the same procedure where you are dividing by a hundred so every time a question asks you to convert a percent to a fraction right or a decimal you have to divide by hundred okay now say you have to convert fraction or decimal to a percent Notice here that I start with, for example, 1 over 4 or 1 over 3. In either case, I'm multiplying by 100, and that's important. So whenever you have a fraction or a decimal and you're supposed to convert it to a percent, you multiply by 100, and that, once you multiply, will give you, let's say I'm working on this one, for example, 1 over, uh, 1 over 4 multiplied by 100 is essentially 1 times 100, which is 100 divided by 4, and it actually gives you 25%. Similarly, if I'm doing 1 over 3, I do the same thing. It's 100 over 3, and when I divide it, it will give me 33.33%. .33%. And similarly, if I'm starting with a decimal number, same thing happens. All the time, you are multiplying by 100. So whenever you're converting a fraction or a decimal to a percent, you need to multiply by 100.